Is this the best saw I've ever used? Ow. Dude! Done. Wow, dude. Gosh, dude, look at that. Woo! Dude, that was like less than a minute. That's nuts, dude. Dang. Short work. Shit. That was really easy. Yeah! Snap diglets, dude! Welcome folks to the channel. Welcome to another episode here at Gideon's Tactical. I am your host, Aaron, and I have been using some form of either bow saw or folding saw for years on my outdoor adventures. I've done folding Corona saws. I've done folding Baco Laplander saws. I've done silky saws of many different sizes, but have never done testing on the Samurai Ichiban. And I'll tell you with the amount of sawdust that this thing throws, your bonds might be itchy by the time you're done but had never even heard of this brand before or this type of uh, saw. And so when I heard about this over on Wrangle Star's channel, gotta give him a shout out, because I love his stuff. If you're not subscribed to him, go check him out. Uh, does some great homesteading videos. Uh, saw this saw, I said, you know what? If he loves it, I gotta try it out. And so today we're gonna see, compared to a lot of other saws that we've tested out, like the ones that I've listed, um, how does this perform? Is this really the best saw I've ever used? Or is it just run of the mill, like any of the other ones that we've tested and reviewed here on the channel. So let's go ahead, get to it, break this thing down and discuss and see whether or not this is going to be a samurai and cut right through the competition. All right, so I wanna hit the saw handle with you. Totally love it. This is a major selling point. And what sets it apart is the angle that they've decided to go with is super natural for your hand which is awesome. The finger grooves work great. I wear large size gloves, as many of you guys know. Nice rubberized texture, uh, really full. You know, I really like that aspect a lot. A really good hook there just to grab so that when you pull and you do that pull motion, it does not want to come out of your hand at all. You got that nice lanyard hole. And then you have that secondary hardened uh, polymer piece that has the two screws that you can replace the blades with or use different um, teeth sizes with the same handle, however you want to do that. But the angle in the geometry is just super, super natural. So when you're pushing and pulling, it doesn't fatigue. It's not narrow. It's not thin. Some of the other handles we're going to look at and talk about today, uh, that's somewhat of a drawback. So the ergonomics out of all the saws we're going to look at today, it has the best wow, handle dude. ergonomics for extended use, which is a major selling point when you're doing a lot of woodwork. So there are a lot of different models out there. This is the model number, just to make sure that you guys can see that, grab that. This is uh, the 330 millimeter, which equals when we bust out the tape measure here, uh, you are looking at about 13 inches overall teeth length from tip to where these teeth end is 13 inches right there. So lots of room to move and work with, which is great, very flexible. So it's not gonna get caught up and snap. Uh, I have had that happen with my silky saws. Um, I think they are hardened maybe a little bit more and cause that snappage. We didn't have any issues with that. We didn't have any binding up or jamming at all throughout the use of this saw, which is epic. Totally love that. And then the major selling point is this recurve or this curve that we have in the saw so that when you pull, it's sawing as well as when you're pushing. So you're getting double action the way the teeth are designed. These are large teeth. Uh, they're different sizes depending on types of woods that you're using um, and, and encountering. You know, for us, dead pine, aspen, fir, uh, you know, those type of woods, uh, this, this stuff is fantastic and is just a machine. So uh, the curve is really what helps with the sawing motion and the way the teeth have been set up so that when you pull back towards you, you're going through wood as well as when you push. So you're getting that dual action system that not all saws will offer you. But guys, uh, that layout and that system just work fantastically well. Now the carrying system or sheath that the Samurai comes with is a lightweight polymer. Again, the whole package is only gonna be about 12.2 ounces. This thing slides in really nice with decent retention. Uh, you know, it doesn't wanna come out. Little bit of side to side rattle, 
I don't know why they did that, but a little bit of an exposed blade in there. Nice little thumb ramp to be able to pull off with ease. And then they have a completely swingable and adjustable uh, belt strap here to attach to your belt. That would easily fit a two inch belt right there. Little lightweight plastic attachment, and then it is removable. So if you wanna keep this on your belt, take the saw off, throw it in your pack, and then when you get to your location, snap that sucker in. Now it is a lightweight plastic. Uh, I don't know how long it will last. It doesn't seem as durable as say like a polymer sheath would be for like a knife, a fixed blade but it's a really simple system that seems to work really well and uh, is an easier way to carry a large saw like this than say like a bow saw, particularly when you're walking around delimbing, uh, pruning, or collecting firewood for your fire. All right, the Ichiban versus the world. That's what we're talking about in this moment here. Basically all of the saws that I currently own in their different dimensions and the positives and negatives and we're going to talk about all that against the samurai ichiban today now we're going to have links in the description below over to amazon as well as blade hq some of these can be found on both some of them just amazon uh, at the end of this video regardless if it's any of the saws that you see here today or any other products when you guys use those hyperlinks either to blade hq or amazon then we get a small kickback helps me to continue to do what we do here all these saws have been purchased by myself uh, and it get, helps me to have the content and the finances to produce the content that we uh, do here. So thank you guys so much for your continued support by using the Blade HQ and Amazon hyperlinks below in the description of this video. So here is this moment of truth. So we're just going to start down at the bottom with some of the most inexpensive ones. Uh, the Baco Laplander, amazing saw, 20 bucks, still a great, great saw. Love it. Made in Sweden high carbon steel, uh, for the price, it is a better saw than the Corona 7-incher. Uh, you can pick this up at a lot of sporting goods stores, or excuse me, hardware stores and uh, that type of thing. It's okay. Uh, it has a similar curved blade to the Ichiban, but what I found when we tested it up on uh, one of our backpacking trips, we took both the Baco and uh, the um, uh, Corona. The Corona just did not produce as well. The handle ergonomics was a little odd for us to try and figure out and produce uh, good results in. And we just, between the two, prefer the Laplander down here. But this that one will be about $18 and they have a lot of different sizes in that brand. Then the third folding saw, and really my favorite packable folding saw, is still the Silky F180. Uh, we did a review on this a little while ago. Fantastic little saw, about 30 bucks. Really good handle ergonomics uh, and is going to have crazy good teeth to tear through stuff. Has two different angles. I really like that kick out angle. So when stuff's low to the ground, you can really saw through it and it's not fatiguing on your wrist. Really like that aspect a lot. And uh, the, the reason you'd be going with one of these folding saws is for packability. These all are going to come in around six to seven ounces. So very lightweight. You know, the, the blades all go into them into themselves. And it's really easy to just throw inside a small day pack, inside the pocket of your you know gear and that type of thing, and carry it around. And it's a great wood processor, but it's not something you want to take if you know you're going to be doing like a big bonfire, you're going to be practicing a lot of bushcraft tasks, and you know you just need a lot of wood processing. These folding ones would not be my first choice. You want to go with some of these bigger guys. So this is really where the moment of truth comes in. When you know you're going to process a lot of wood or you just want that larger saw, regardless if it's for, again, pruning, you know, um, property, that type of thing, um, landscaping, or out in the woods, backpacking, camping, hiking, you know, whatever, and you are processing a lot of wood for whatever reason. It could be trail maintenance or those, uh, you know, just big fires or you're building a shelter and you're practicing those skills or whatever. Now, in the past, we did a review on the Boreal 21, a Canadian-made uh, folding bow saw, totally love it. Totally kicked the butt on the seven saw that we've tested out and reviewed. Really great saw. That thing's gonna run you about 65 to $70. I think it, uh, for a bow, folding bow saw, it's a great price point and it's a really good performer. Now come the Ichiban. Uh, the Ichiban weighs in at 12 ounces. This guy's gonna come in at 18 ounces. So about six ounces lighter and it's a noticeably lighter package. It takes up about the same amount of footprint as the Boreal when it is folded up. And this guy's gonna be about $40, $41 for the Ichiban. So we're looking at about a $25 difference between the Boreal and the um, Ichiban. And there is some significant performance differences. So we, to test this out, because these, I feel like these two, the Samurai Ichiban and the Boreal 21 are very similar um, 
tools. They're gonna do similar tasks for you, so which one is better? So we cranked out the bow reel first on a big piece of wood. So it was good and it was impressive. And then we took the Ichiban up against the exact same piece of wood after having done the Bow Reel 21 to see how it would perform in that capacity. Yeah! Snap diglets, dude. What is that, 30 seconds faster? Wow. Oh. And as you can see, a significant difference on that piece of wood in speed. And we talked about it afterwards in comfortability. The ergonomics, again, as we talked about a little earlier, it's just insane on the Ichiban and just how the curve works together with the, the teeth to be a, a a saw that cuts both ways and just really is designed well with that. Whereas the bow reel, this bar back here, which is the tension bar, is better than on the seven saw and some of the other bow saws we've tested, but it still causes a little bit of a hot spot. It's a big piece of plastic that you're grabbing. It's not rubberized and more ergonomic. It is a slightly different angle, not by much, but you can just see there that there's a little bit of a, a better, more natural angle on the Samurai. And the blade just did not go through that piece of wood as fast. It was more tiring, more fatiguing. So it's an easy competition that the Samurai Ichiban outperformed every other saw here that you're looking at and definitely outperformed uh, the bow saw, which has a longer blade and will cost you about $25 more. So from all of the testing we've done over the years, the Japanese still know how to make a saw. And I can recommend to you, if you're looking for a large wood processor and you got a lot of wood to go with and go through, the Ichiban is definitely the way to go. And then uh, if you do need that packable system and you just want it to be a little bit lighter weight and you just don't want to take up the footprint that the Ichiban does, then the Silky F180 is still the right choice for me when it comes to folding saws. Uh, when I'm out on the trail. Well, on my next hiking trip, I'm gonna run and grab this saw like a fat kid grabbing a Cinnabon. Guys, I love the Ichiban. This thing is sick. I totally dig it. Uh, this thing is a machine. It is slicing or sawing a swath through the competition of the other saws that I currently own. And for the price, the weight, the ergonomics, and the performance, guys, this thing is mind blowing and I highly recommend it. So yes, I would say when you roll it all together, this is an amazing package and the best saw for man portable systems that I've yet used. So guys, thank you so much for coming over here today, checking out the channel. I hope this video has helped you out decide if the Ichiban from Samurai is the right saw for you. Uh, check us out on all the relevant social media. That's a great way to see what's up and coming. If you're not a regular subscriber, I invite you to become part of the GT family. Throwing up videos like this every single week. You regular subscribers, you are awesome. Thank you so much for your regular support. And finally, guys, Always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.